Okay, so while patients are feeling the pinch of rising health care, providers are not immune to the pressures either, and now they are making some changes. Well, University Hospital says it plans to lay off more than 100 administrative employees and eliminate more than 300 unfilled administrative jobs. The system says the layoffs are needed after it suffered a net operating loss of more than $184 million through August of this year. So that got us wondering, what is going on? News 5's Remy Murray gets perspective from the Ohio Hospital Association. If if we don't see some relief soon, it, it definitely um, could, could become even more um, unsettling. The devastation from COVID-19, <laughs> then a rapid decline in staffing across all industries, including healthcare, and now rising supply costs due to inflation are all leading causes. Ohio Hospital Association Public Affairs Director John Palmer says healthcare institutions like university hospitals are making to keep their doors open. So when you're hit with a variety of those factors, it, it's just creating some difficult economic challenges that these hospitals are facing. Just last month, we told you about the announcement at St. Vincent Charity Medical Center and the Sisters of Charity Health System to no longer provide overnight hospital beds or emergency care. It's really just been an unfortunate situation what we're seeing uh, in some areas of Ohio. Now university hospitals will lay off more than 100 administrative employees due to economic downturn. Every hospital is the crown jewel of their local community and these are just not great economic times that uh, many hospitals are um, facing right now. Still, Palmer says what's happening in Ohio doesn't compare to the rest of the country. A lot of other states are struggling even greater with, with closures and reductions in service lines. Palmer understands these situations can be upsetting for everyone involved, but he praises those health care leaders working to make sure access continues. In Cleveland, Remy Murray, News 5. And the layoffs at university hospitals are on a setback for one of Ohio's top industries. 19 of the state's top 100 employers are health care groups. Four of them are in the top 10. In fact, the Cleveland Clinic Foundation is the second largest. Also in the top 10, Mercy Health, University Hospitals, and Ohio Health. Walmart is Ohio's top employer with more than 53,000 workers throughout the state.